Hello everybody, Albert's brother here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a rather unique thing and how it performs on my RX 5700 XT. Today we're going to be taking a look at the CryEngine Neon Noir Ray Tracing Benchmark. Now this is free if you're interested in trying this for yourself. You do have to sign up and create a profile on CryEngine. It's like I guess it's a developer profile, like if you were going to use CryEngine to develop a game, but I'm not doing that, obviously. But um, that's free. And then once you do, you have to click here to add the, rate, the Neon Noir Ray Tracing benchmark to your library. And then go to your library and go to My Assets, and it should be right here. And then you just download it, as you can see, I've already done that. And then launch it. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be, got my overlay here, which I'll turn on in a moment. And I'm going to be running this test at 1080p and 1440p. No, no 4K for this one. I have an RX 5700 XT, so I don't have any ray tracing hardware in my computer, strictly speaking. So you can see what I have right here. They give you the readout. Um... So the way this is laid out, what I'm going to do, you're going to get your score here. My overlay is going to be in the lower right here because that way I don't cover up the built-in uh, frames per second readout. But that's the layout. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn my overlay on. And then I'm going to make it full screen. And this is the... Uh, Oh, there are different settings of ray tracing. Okay, well, we're going to stick with Ultra the whole way. Okay, why did frames get really low there? That doesn't make any sense. Well, that was interesting. Apparently, when I made this full screen with Relive recording, it really dragged the frame rate. But then I stopped recording and started recording again, and... Now we're back up to 60. It's locked to 60 in the menus, but let's get started. And hopefully we don't get any more performance anomalies. I've run it. I've run this benchmark three times so far this morning. And performance was very interesting. Now we're working as it should. This is about right. So yes, this is with the ray tracing. This is 1080p with the ray tracing set to ultra. And again, this benchmark is totally free. You just have to create a profile on CryEngine's website. You can try it yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if this is how they're going to do ray tracing on the consoles. It's going to be hardware agnostic. And all this fancy hardware accelerated ray tracing that NVIDIA has spent so much time and research on is going to be completely wasted in the end because AMD has the consoles. And ray tracing is going to develop as the consoles need it, not as NVIDIA demands it develop. Definitely looks a lot better. I don't know if there is any kind of... Um... Now, this scene is always tricky. I think because of the number of ray traced items on screen, each individual bullet casing, for instance. Now, I don't know if there's any kind of... Um post-processing to clean up the image? I would assume there is, but, you know, there's no DLSS here. Like I said, I'm running Radeon, so... And that's it, and it always flashes at the end like that. So, don't know if you can see that. But let's, uh... turn the full screen off. And... let's turn off... My overlay, so you can actually see it. See, it's a little cumbersome doing it that way. 7335, 1080p with ultra ray tracing. Uh, when I'm not recording, I get about 7600. So a couple, about 250 points higher than that. But it's in the general ballpark. So now I'm going to turn my overlay back on. I'm going to go back to full screen. I may have to stop and start recording again if the frame rate uh, drags. 
which it did. This is kind of interesting. Okay, be back in a sec. And we're back. Now I'm going to change resolution to 1440p. Yeah, and we are now at 1440p with ultra ray tracing. So let's see how that goes. I could run the 4K, but that seam with the bullet casings is going to drag frame rate down here to about, I think, uh, in the upper 30s. So I don't really see the point in testing at 4K. The 5700 XT is not a 4K card. I still say that. Even though you can play at 4K, that's not really where it goes well. So 1440p is the most I'm going to test here today. Obviously, it's performing pretty well. You're in the 50s. 50s, low, upper, mid 50s, low 60s so far. A couple dips down into the 40s. I would hope that there is some kind of uh, optimization that happens, but maybe that's just how demanding it is. I have no idea what CryEngine did to make this hardware agnostic. I'm just glad that it's uh, possible. And just kind of proves to me NVIDIA's greed. They tried to corner the market, just like they did with, you know, hardware-based physics type stuff. And that kind of fell through as well. Okay, here comes the bullet casings. Yeah, 34 FPS we dipped to right there. So I assume reducing the ray tracing to a lower setting would... Okay, so 1440p with ultra ray tracing gave us 4540. I'm going to turn the ray tracing down. What are the different settings here? Just very difference between very high and ultra. Let's turn it to very high. I have no idea what that is turning off. Let's see if it looks any different. And let's run it again. See if that improves the frame rate at all. It probably pl places some kind of limitation on how much of the ray is actually traced, would be my guess. But again, not despite reading tons about it, this is a diff obviously a different way of implementing ray tracing than what NVIDIA has done, so I'm not very confident in talking about ray tracing here. Because this is obviously a different technique, so... If you're just clicking ahead in the video, this is 1440p, but with ray tracing turned down from ultra to very high. It looks a little... Looks like there's a little bit more... Uh, it doesn't look as smooth. Not exactly sure why that would be. And you can see we're getting a few more stutters in the uh, frame time readout. So whatever we did... Yeah, the frame rate's up, but it doesn't look as smooth, so that makes me think the higher setting with the lower frame rate would probably be preferable, if this were an actual game. This kind of looks like it was taken from Hard Reset or something. A little bit more open than some of the corridors in there, though. So yeah, there's a definite frame rate improvement. Not sure about the smoothness, though. Pretty extraordinary, though, that I'm ray tracing on a 5700 XT and staying above 60 FPS for the most part at 1440p. That's uh, that's pretty extraordinary. So reducing uh, ray tracing to very high improved our score to 5921. And that's kind of it. That is uh, the Neon Noir... Ray Tracing Benchmark from CryEngine. I'm definitely pretty excited about Ray Tracing. Uh, I think it's been a gimmick the last couple of years, and it's going to and it's gonna take a while to take hold, but I think we're on the cusp of seeing some exciting new visuals in video games. 
Hope this video was useful to you. Thanks for watching.